Hi, boys and girls. We are going to read our final chapter in Freckle Juice, chapter five. So just to quickly recap, we learned that our main character, Andrew, wanted freckles. Why did he want freckles so bad? Because he hated having to wash his neck in the morning. And he saw he thought if he had freckles, his mom wouldn't know if his neck was dirty. So he would never be late for school for having to go back and wash his neck. So he goes to school and he finds the boy that has tons of freckles. And he asks him, how did you get your freckles? And of course, this character's name is Nikki. He turns around and looks at him and is like, um, I was born with them. And mean old know-it-all Sharon overheard the conversation. Now Sharon and Andrew do not get along. And she comes up to him and she says she has a old family secret recipe for getting freckles. It's called freckle juice and she'll give it to him for 50 cents. Andrew thinks about this for a few minutes because 50 cents is a lot of money. He decides he really wants those freckles. So he gives her the 50 cents, he gets the freckle juice recipe, he goes home, he drinks it, and he becomes very sick. Now, at the end of chapter 4, he had went to bed. and We were making a prediction of what you think Andrew will do. When he woke up in the morning, no he said he was determined he would not let that Sharon win. So let's finish our book and let's find out who gets the last laugh in Freckle Juice. <clears throat> Chapter 5. After breakfast, Andrew raced back to his bedroom. He opened his desk drawer and looked for a brown magic marker. What do you think he's going to do with that brown magic marker? All he could find was a blue one. It was getting late. Blue would have to do. He put the magic marker in his lunchbox and headed for school. He stopped two blocks before he got there. He studied his reflection in the car window. Then he took out the magic marker and decorated his whole face and neck with blue dots. Now, I like that the author uses the word decorated. He decorated his face and neck. What do you think that means? Nick, uh, not Nikki, Andrew has the blue marker. And by saying he decorated his face and neck, when I hear decorate, I think about decorating for Christmas or a holiday. But in this case, it means he actually drew blue freckles all over his face and neck. Now, do you think that Sharon is going to think that those freckles really appear? Do you think his plan is going to work? Let's read and find out. Well, maybe they didn't look like Nikki Lane's freckles, but they sure look like something. Andrew waited until the second bell rang, and then he hurried to his class and sat down. Now, here is a picture. Here he is looking at his reflection in the car window using it like a mirror and drawing on his freckles. And can you imagine what it would have been like if he walked into our classroom covered in blue dots and sat down? I bet you guys would get a big case of the giggles. <clears throat> he took out a book and tried to read it. He heard a lot of whispers, but he didn't look up. Miss Kelly snapped her fingers. Let's settle down, children. Stop chattering. Everybody giggled. What is so funny? What is so funny? Lisa, can you tell me the joke? Lisa stood up. <laughs> it's Andrew, Miss Kelly. Just look at Andrew Marcus. Stand up, Andrew. Let me have a look at you, Miss Kelly said. Andrew stood up. Good heavens, Andrew. What have you done to yourself? I grew freckles, Miss Kelly. That's what. Andrew knew his blue dots looked silly, but he didn't care. He turned toward Sharon and stuck out his tongue, and Sharon made that frog face at him. He doesn't care how silly he looks. He's not letting that Sharon win on this one, is he? He's going to have the last laugh. 
Miss Kelly took a deep breath. Oh, I see, she said. You may sit down now, Andrew. Let's get on with our morning work. At recess, Nikki Lane turned around and said, Who ever heard of blue freckles? Andrew did not answer him. He sat in class all day with blue freckles. A couple of times, Miss Kelly looked at him kind of funny. She didn't say anything. Then at 2 o'clock, she called him to her desk. I'll let you look at this picture right quick. She's handing him something. What do you think she's giving him in that picture? Make a prediction. All right, let's read. Let's find out if your prediction was correct. Andrew, Miss Kelly said, would you like to use my secret formula for removing freckles? Her voice was low, but not so low that the class couldn't hear. For free? Andrew asked. Oh, yes, Kelly said. For free. Andrew scratched his head and thought it over. Miss Kelly took a small package out of her desk. Boys and girls remember the day he got the recipe and it was dropped on the floor. Miss Kelly picked it up and read it. So Miss Kelly knew what was going on. She handed it to Andrew. Now do not open this until you get to the boys' restroom. Remember, it's a secret formula. Okay? Okay, Andrew said. He wanted to run to the boys' bathroom, but he knew the rules. No running in the halls. So he walked as fast as he could. He couldn't wait to see what was in the package. Could there really be such a thing as freckle remover? As soon as he was inside the boys' room, he unwrapped the package. There was a note. Andrew read the note. It said, Turn on the water, wet magic freckle remover, and rub it into face. Rinse. If magic freckle remover does not work first time, try again. Three times should do the job. Miss Kelly. Ha! Miss Kelly knew. She knew all the time. She knew his freckles weren't really freckles. She didn't tell. Andrew followed Miss Kelly's directions. The magic freckle remover formula smelled like lemons. Andrew had to use it four times to get his freckles off. And then he wrapped it up and walked back to his classroom. Boys and girls, I want to pause right here. I want you to think of a character trait that you think describes Miss Kelly. Think about what she's done in our story. Would you say that Miss Kelly is nice or that she is understanding? What did she do that would make her an understanding or a nice person? You might even think of a different word to describe her. Andrew had to use it four times to get the, the freckles off, and then he wrapped it back up, and he walked back to his classroom. Miss Kelly smiled. Well, Andrew, I see it worked. Yes, Miss Kelly, it sure did. You look fine now, Andrew. You know, I think you're a very handsome boy without you do? Oh, yes, I do. Miss Kelly! Miss Kelly! Nikki Lane called out, raising his hand and waving it all around. What is it, Nikki? Miss Kelly asked. Could I use your magic freckle remover? Could I, Miss Kelly? I hate my freckles. I hate every single one of them. Andrew couldn't believe it. How could Nikki hate his freckles? They were so neat! Now, Nikki, Miss Kelly said, Andrew didn't good with freckles. But you look wonderful. I'd hate to see you without them. Well, part of you, I'm going to put away this magic formula. I hope that I never have to use it again. Well, Andrew thought she'd never have to use it on him because he was through with freckles. When the class lined up to go home, Andrew heard Sharon whisper to Nikki, Andrew, I know how to get rid of them. Get rid of what? 
Nikki asked. Your freckles. You do? Uh-huh, sure. The secret recipe for removing freckles has been in my family for years. That's how come none of us have any. I'll sell it to you for 50 cents. And then Sharon walked up alongside Andrew. And before Andrew could say a word, Sharon made a super duper frog face just for him. And that is the end. Big hand clap for the story. So we finished our novel. Now, one final, well, let's do two final questions. First off, I'm curious about your thoughts on Sharon. So if you had to describe her in one word, list one character trait, what would you say about Sharon? What kind of a person is she? The word tricky came to my mind because she sure liked to trick people. And maybe she wasn't very nice. She was kind of mean, wasn't she? Um, I hope that Andrew learned a lesson through this. What lesson do you think Andrew learned? When you get a chance, I want you to log on to your Google Classroom and click on the Google Doc and answer some questions about Chapter 5. Submit it to me, and we're done with Freckle Juice. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the novel Freckle Juice, and you'll share it with someone else, and you'll tell them all about this book. But when you tell them about the book, don't give away the ending. All right, until next time, bye. Love you.